So after seeing those that demonstration with lights and knowing what's going on with electrons, electrons are kind of weird for scientists. They sometimes act like particles in that uh, you have these colliding electrons that bump into the electrons of a gas. Um, but then they also act a little bit like waves as well because they are associated with these different colors of light. So what that means is if you have an electron that's in an excited state versus a ground state, an electron that's in the excited state is higher energy, whereas the ground state is lower energy, but what does that have to do with wavelength and colors of light? Well, on the first page of our notes, if I scroll back here, we said that if you see purple light, you have very short wavelengths. When you see red light, you have very long wavelengths, relatively speaking. So in the, the videos of the gases that you guys just saw, this picture that you see on your screen right now kind of resembles probably what you think of from your, I don't know, middle school days uh, image of an atom in your head where you've got the nucleus in the center and the electrons revolving around that nucleus like rings, like uh, planets around the sun. And so your closest, uh, what we call energy level is right next to the nucleus there. So that would be like this guy right next to the nucleus and then you build out the atom, it gets larger and larger, and depending on how many electrons you've got, sometimes it takes up to seven energy levels to fit all the electrons for an atom. Well, we said a second ago that when you have, when you plug a gas into an electrical outlet and the electricity runs in, that those electrons bump the, the incoming electrons bump the electrons of the gas up to a higher energy level. So the, ener the atom, the electrons absorb energy. And eventually the electron goes, what am I doing in this place? I'm not really supposed to be at this higher energy level. I'm supposed to be in a lower energy level. And it goes back to where it really belongs. When it falls back down to where it really belongs, that difference in energy is given off in the form of light. So if we have a big difference in energy, you get one color of light. If you have a small difference in energy, you get a different color of light. So what does that mean? So I want you to picture um, if I could somehow do a pair of scissors on this picture of the atom, and if I could somehow slice my atom right here and do a cut and pretend like these are strings and then I were to straighten out the strings and so n equals 1 would be all the way at the bottom and n equals 7 would be all the way at the top it might look something like this that we call an energy level diagram each line represents an energy level in other words how close you are to the nucleus of an atom. The farther apart the lines are, the bigger difference in energy to jump from one level to another, and if it's close, then less energy. So we said an excited state has higher energy and ground state has lower energy. So in your colors that you guys just saw from the demo, Let's say that you saw a purple band of light. What purple means, just as an example, purple is a higher energy color. And so what that means is, is that your electrons were falling a very far distance. And there's a big difference in energy. And that big difference in energy is given off in something like purple. Whereas if you fall just a short distance, a little energy difference, then maybe you would see a red band of light. 
depending on what gas it is, how many electrons it has, where the electrons start, where they fall to, um, those incoming colliding electrons, you basically get a whole rainbow of colors that if you fall a greater distance, you're going to have greater energy associated with those. Um, and then you can see here something like this might happen. Let me expand that purple one up just a notch, right? Something like this, that we get the whole uh, color band. So if you're falling a really far distance, if your electron somehow got bumped all the way up to um, all the way the outer edge of an atom, that seventh energy level, and then it was really supposed to be in the first energy level, when it goes all the way from seven down to one, that's a big difference in energy. And so if we have a big difference in energy, you're going to have a greater energy difference. And so you would see purple light. If you just are supposed to be a level one electron and you somehow got bumped up to level two and you're falling back to where you really belong, um, those guys would be a smaller difference in energy. And so you would correspond with a longer wavelength red light.